even when you make us brain dead, you can never take away our heart. Even when we depart from this earth, we will rebirth. The youth are not lost, we are found poets. So even in our deaths, we will never be forgotten. No NyQuil needed, we are immune to the coffin, cause see, even skeletons are still pharaohs. Generation and our demons, we will beat them. It ain't nothing but masturbation. So quit playing with yourselves. This is not an institution of a higher level education. The only thing high about the school are its students. So, dear Mr. President, please clarify something for me. How the hell are you cutting Pell Grant funds and telling the nation that you still give a damn about higher level education? See, you may not have to make sense to make dollars. I learned that from little Wayne, but dear Mr. President, my basic understanding of economics has taught me that you need to make sense in order to make change. You bury us alive. Locking us within these cardboard coffin cradles. Isolating us from humanity. The leading cause of depression is loneliness. Depression leads to suicide, and last year, there were twice as many teenage deaths due to suicide than to HIV AIDS. When will you take bullying seriously? How many more have to die before you open your eyes so we will take black light pens and write Bush and Obama on our trigger fingers and Charlie Chris on our wrists so that when they see us sign our suicide, they will learn who the true murderers are. You bury us alive. You have turned our theaters into more cement. Alive.